welcome to the video titled Dynamics 365 Sales and Dynamics 365 Copilot. The goal of this video is to streamline your efforts to learn about the ex integrated experience between these apps. My name is Craig Kreskis. I am a cloud solution architect. This is one of two videos where this video is focused on the steps for you as a pre-sales professional to install, set up, and configure all the settings to enable this experience for your customer presentations. Now, some of the steps are optional, meaning I plan to show you a few steps that as an engineer, as a pre-sales engineer, you'll probably want to enable it as it complements the experience with Dynamics 365 Copilot. Now, there are a number of steps you can see on my screen that you need to navigate to in order to create this environment. Number one, you need to install uh, Viva Sales. I'll show you how to do that. Once we install Viva Sales in the admin center, we're going to configure some of the policies in the Teams admin center. Then the third step, I want you to configure Viva Sales inside of Outlook. We'll then configure this inside of the Sales app, and then you'll install Viva Sales in the Team app. So again, this first video is really just to get you up and running. The second video will be about how to demonstrate this to a prospective customer. So let's begin first by installing the Teams app inside the Admin Center. Log in to admin.microsoft.com. I shared the link below. Obviously, you need to be a M365 administrator to deploy and install the Viva Sales add-in. To do this, go ahead on the left-hand side, open that up and select uh, Show All. And then let's go ahead and navigate to Settings and select Integrated Apps. Go ahead and select Get Apps and then search for Viva Sales. You'll see, obviously, at this point, this pre presents or previews a window from App Source. I'm going to go ahead and select Get It Now for Viva Sales for Outlook. I'll select get it now and then the third option or click is to deploy. Make sure you've got this selected and then hit deploy. This just takes a few moments. Once it's done, you'll be presented with the option to select done appropriately. And now the add-in is enabled inside of Teams, but it's not installed. So we need to do that. We're going to navigate to the Teams Admin Center. We'll create some setup policies to install the app and then assign to the users. So again, we're going to go into the Teams Admin Center second. We'll configure those policies. And let's go ahead and take a look how to do that. So on the bottom left corner, you'll see I've got it highlighted for you. Under the additional admin centers, select Teams. And then let's go ahead and navigate and expand some of these under Team Apps, you're going to select Set Up Policies. On the screen, you notice I've got two policies, but I want to add a third policy, and I'm going to call this Viva Sales. So I've titled this Viva Sales. And again, make sure that you give users the option to pin. And then go ahead and add your apps on the right side. You'll search. Uh, you'll find Viva Sales. Just select Add and then your add button does get highlighted. Once you're done, you select save, and now you'll see inside of your app policies, Viva Sales is set up. Select show all, and a few other options I wanna make sure you have enabled to take advantage of this full robust experience. The next setting is gonna to navigate to meetings. So go ahead and select meetings and meeting policies and choose your global policy. So in order to leverage all that Viva Sales has to offer, I'm referring to where you can provide organizations the opportunity to capture the details of customer and seller calls. This includes the AI driven recommendations. Then we do need to enable the transcript feature inside of Teams. So select Global, and this moved from previous versions inside of Teams. 
So down here where you find recording and transcript, I want to go ahead and enable the transcript. Remember to save your work, hit confirm. And now the third and last setting that's nested under voice. So select voice and then calling policies. Same thing, open up global policies. Very easy to do in our demo environment because we're administrators. May not be as easy if you have access to a production environment. Then under the, uh, right under my private calls, you'll see here a selection for cloud recording for calling. Make sure you enable that feature and then also the transcript. Again, save your work, hit confirm. And this policy is, is doing all of its magic behind the scenes and we'll be ready to go. Next, I want to go ahead and configure Viva Sales inside of Microsoft Outlook. From the Admin Center, from the Microsoft Admin Center, again, I can go ahead and, and choose Outlook. You should have a sample email in your inbox. And then you'll notice on the ellipsis, Viva Sales. I'll sign in to get started. You choose your CRM product of choice. I don't have access to a Salesforce environment. I do have access to Dynamics 365. And again, make sure from the drop down you choose the correct environment. In my demo environments, I only have this one organization. I'll select Get Started. And then you'll notice here I've got this configured. Now the highlights tells you, again, the highlights. And then on the Dynamics tab here, this now shows that I can tag or demonstrate this email and link it to my Dynamics 365 sales. Again, more on this during the second video where I show you how to demonstrate that to your customers. There are additional features to extend the capabilities of the sales experience. This area combines sales, teams, and Outlook, really around the calendar meetings and capturing the details of those meetings. So again, as I preface this in the beginning of the video, this might be optional, but for me as a pre-sales engineer at Microsoft, I want to highlight everything I can. Inside of Dynamics 365 Sales, you can see I'm logged into the Sales Hub. The bottom left under the area page is I'm going to navigate to the app settings. Now in app settings, at the time of this recording, this is under Teams. And what this is, I want to turn this on, but with Teams meeting integration, sellers can quickly access and update Dynamics 365 records inside of Microsoft Teams, either before, during, and after meetings. So I can synchronize my calendars by turning this on, and then I'll go ahead and save that option. Now again, you may want to highlight the opportunity for salespeople to create meetings inside of, again, Dynamics 365 Sales, and have that appear on their Teams or Outlook calendars. Now to do that, I'm going to go ahead and open up the Admin Center. This is going to open up another tab. Select your environments. I'll open up my Dynamics 365 application and under settings and nested under product and collaboration, you'll notice that this feature is enabled, right? So here it is, is Teams integration. Just want to make sure again, this allows users can join a Teams meeting directly with inside of Dynamics 365 sales. Let's return back to the sales hub and in that area of the app settings, and I'm gonna go ahead and select on the Teams calls. And here you can see where I'm going to go ahead and enable the Teams dialer, so I could be more productive in getting work done effectively by essentially calling customers direct within the Dynamics 365 sales hub. Same thing here where I enable that in the Admin Center, but this is where conversation intelligence with my Microsoft Teams calls, and now allows for real-time analysis of the call data, including an overview, a summary, transcription insights, and any action items that may come out of that call. So I turn this on, and then go ahead and publish that. 
And if you want to look at some of the advanced settings here, once that's enabled, you'll notice it'll open up into a new window. And this is where, again, you can control where the storage is for the call, but also some of the business settings around maybe competitors, any keywords that the AI features is listening to, and that will be part of that summary and then the insights. So again, now this is all the areas where you can personalize that conversation intelligence. The last area is to install Viva Sales inside of Outlook. Go inside of Teams and under the apps, you'll see I have here, I'll select on the apps, search for Viva Sales, and you can scroll through the right if you wanna look at some of the features. And I'm gonna go ahead and add that to a team. I'll go ahead and add that. And then again, I can pin this. Here's some of the settings that you have inside of Viva Sales. And select email and then go ahead and select replies. That enables me to make it easier as I'm writing emails. The suggestive AI technology, right? Part of Viva Sales is now surfacing suggested text that I can present to my conversations that I'm having with customers. Go ahead and enable that. And that is a lot, but there is a lot to set up. This video really was designed to take out uh, the, to create simplicity for you in creating that in your demo environment. So we installed Viva Sales. We configured the policies in the team admin center, connected that to Outlook. We configured in the sales hub and then installed that inside of the Teams app. I want to thank you so much for your time and participation. Again, this is part one of a two-part series to help guide you through the process of Dynamics 365 sales and integrating with the current experience of Copilot. Thank you very much, and I'll see you on the next video real soon.